kombucha. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it has been a minute. We have a, a minute to catch up on. Okay, it's been almost an entire week since our last meeting, <laughs> meeting, the last time that this happened. It's been a week, which is crazy because I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I totally blinked and the week was gone. But another great week of training. Today was a fucking mess, but uh, you know what? <laughs> Just maintaining that great attitude. But we'll talk about that in a second. Let's rewind before we start with, with today. Um, Wednesdays are my cross training day because most people, a lot of people when they marathon train, they run five days a week, take one complete day off, maybe two, and then they do a cross training day. What I do is I, five days of running and four days of running. Four days of running is ideal for me because that's just how my body responds. It, it five days of running is a lot and, uh, I do best when I'm cross training two days a week, running four, taking one complete day off. Uh, but Thursday I had a great, uh, I went over to the Manhattan Bridge and I ran mile repeats. So it's like uphill half mile, downhill the other half. Was na nailing that, knocking them out of the park. Good stuff. I think I did four mile repeats, four miles of repeats. It was a hard workout, but it was really fun. I was playing with Weave Run, and uh, I think I think where Weave excels is like in speed work, to be honest. But uh, uh, what else? Oh, Saturday we had a freaking awesome long run. So I uh, went to go meet my friend Sierra. They see me rolling. They hate About to be it. drama around this motherfucker. Trying to catch me riding dirty. And uh, we ended up running into our friend Abby, who was in the park. See me rolling, they hate about to be it. trouble around this trolling and trying to catch me riding dirty. It was like a gorgeous day and everyone was out. So we ran into people left and right, which was so much fun. But yeah, I was supposed to do nine and I ended up doing 11, I think. And it catch me riding dirty. Yeah, I did 11. Super fast, super rocking. Definitely like working and cooking, but felt great the whole time. <laughs> It's always so stupid to say that because that's not true. It hurt, <laughs> but we were having a great time. I had a speaker. We were like screaming Backstreet Boys and NSYNC, NSYNC for life. It's gonna be me. And yeah, we were just having a great time, you know, being girls. And then, and then I broke my toe. Oh yeah. After that, I was getting dressed and I broke my toe. It looks a lot better today. Yeah. It's still a little bruised, but it definitely hurts. So Sunday I did, you know, what you're, anyone who broke their toe would do and I ran <laughs> like a dumbass. And then yesterday to give it a day off, I went to Flywheel. Look at this, I'm, I'm sweating right now. That's how hard today was. Yeah, let's cut to today. Here, let's, here, watch it and then we'll talk. stretch uh i broke my toe <laughs> getting dressed i stubbed it against my bed and uh so today i'm wearing two different shoes because one of them's bigger than the other and i just feel really heavy but that's okay i'm just gonna do my best the 6 30 crew so it's really just six times 600 with a mile tempo in the beginning to make us really ready for the sixes okay and the rest is like walk 50 just like what we did. Yeah, we don't need like four minutes rest. We're being average recovery in the 60s. Close to two minutes. Alright. Um, three, two, one. <laughs> We're all like, really good. Right. Again, just a tempo. This should be hard for all the workout. Where's my hat? 137, 
701. Felt easy controlled. Not easy, that's not true. <sighs> Got it though. Alright, 600s. Pretty easy, faster than mile pace. Three, two, one. Stay relaxed, all form. Good work, good work. Definitely hard, but not terrible. Fine, 231. Doing fine. Feeling a little crappy, but that's okay. Doing my best. I should be jogging right now. Have to shuffle. <sighs> it's also jog. I'm totally getting ahead of myself, which is fine. Talking myself off ledges. And my stomach hurts. I should have eaten something. Oh well. Forty-four, forty-five. Good job. Honeymoon's over, but like you have fresh legs when you start. Yeah. Even though like you were running, you were like you had less structure. Yeah. So the fact that we had a couple good track workouts early, it's like. This is go easy. And I, I, like, I knew, I knew it wouldn't last forever too. But this is still going well. Yeah, no, it's more than not. Um, I'm just, I'm focusing on my speed, which is why I'm probably <laughs> getting myself in a little pigeonhole. I need to let that go. Focus on effort. Yeah. <sighs> more fun, less stressing. Your body is where it's gonna be today. If I shit my pants, I shit my pants. Hey, you know. Good for the story. <laughs> Broken toe, shoot your pants. Yeah. Running is fun. All right, let's do it. Two thirty-five. <sighs> Two more to go. Just smiling my way. Happy to be here. <sighs> Two thirty nine. I'm done. Not the best, but not the worst. We're going to have to talk about this one when I get home. All right, let's go take the group photo. rough it was rough <laughs> i i don't know what happened today well one i have a broken toe and two the weather was super humid and a little hot which was actually perfect and gorgeous but uh i like woke up feeling like crap my legs were heavy i felt kind of tired like i didn't get enough sleep and uh yeah i got in my air pants and then as we were running over my legs just felt like lead and I did my best. The mile, what we did at the track today was like a mile tempo and then six 600s. The mile was great at like, a, I would say it was like a six and a half on the effort scale. And I did like a 701, which for me is like a world record. I felt awesome. But then the 600s were hell. <laughs> I felt so shitty. So like literally felt like I was going to shit my pants shitty. <laughs> It was just a really bad day. But the beautiful part, this is like the biggest takeaway. Not even the takeaway, the biggest like thing to note is, you know, back in the day, I like this would have been a nail in the coffin day for me and it would have thrown me into a tailspin for like at least a week or two. But today, like 
I I am at a place where I'm capable of saying, you know, like something's going on. I'm tired or my legs are fatigued and I'm just going to do my best. And John was there, the greatest coach in the land. He would co- like Honer Camp was like he is the perfect reminder of being like, yeah, you know, you have two weeks on your legs now. Like we're not fresh anymore. You just have to keep going off effort. Stop worrying about the time. You know, which I, the whole time when I, when I would get to him after 400 and he was telling me 140 or something and not 130, I would be like, mother, which was so stupid. (laughs) But yeah, like it was a really rough day. It was a really hard day. And then I came home and fell asleep. Like I slept for two hours and right now, like I'm hot and I'm still sweating. I feel like I ran 20 miles today, which I didn't. It was definitely like a harder day, but I feel like trash still which means you know like hydrate the sleep was probably good uh lots of foam rolling today i also like stupidly thought it would be a good idea to try to do 100 squats a day i saw this stupid video on youtube (laughs) i'm so embarrassed to admit this that was like the the 30 day 100 set up not set up uh squat challenge and i was like that sounds fun let's do it and i think that's probably another reason why i feel like trash (laughs) so i've been doing 100 squats a day (laughs) So dumb. So Honor Camp was like, yeah, maybe don't do that. Like, let's do let's do that stuff on after your hard days on Tuesdays and Thursdays <laughs> and then maybe on like a Sunday. <laughs> and I was like, you know, Honor Camp, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> oh, well, you live and you learn. <laughs> yeah. OK, I am done. That's all for today. The end. <laughs>